Michael Paris. Travis. What we will be doing here, for those of you that don't know, will be a behavioral experiment in which we will be simulating the conditions of life inside a state penitentiary. Now, our only requirement is that none of you have ever served any time. If you have, we'd like to thank you for your interest, but you do not fit our profile. Now, we will be conducting a short series of tests in a moment, but before we do, I would just like to take a beat and let you know that although the actual experiment will be conducted in an utterly secure environment, and the participants will be safe at all times, some of the subjects will be deprived of their civil rights. It's a flying man. For the entire two weeks. Nice. Flying man. Now, let's get to the tests, shall we? Good afternoon, gentlemen. The next two weeks will be a new experience for you. Now, as I said before, some of you will have no civil rights. Do not underestimate that. If any of you want to leave, now is your last chance. No? Good. Again, your safety is our number one priority. If there is any violence, any at all, the experiment will be immediately terminated. Clear? This is the charge. I think we just got our answer. Nothing is to come or go from the cell block. Nothing from the outside world. If you look in your lockers, you will see a printout with the five rules that the prisoners are to follow at all times. Please read them aloud with me. Rule number one, prisoners must eat three meals a day. All food must be consumed. Two, there will be 30 minutes of rest daily. Three, prisoners are allowed only in prisoner designated areas. Four, prisoners must speak only when spoken to. And five, prisoners must not touch the guard under any circumstances. Those that break the rules must be punished commensurately. This experiment is not about individuals. If any one person leaves, it's over. If a prisoner does break the rules, you will have 30 minutes to choose proper disciplinary action. If you fail to do so, that red light will come on, the experiment will be terminated, and you will not get paid. What did you say? You either maintain strict order, or you don't get paid. We'll see you in two weeks.
some ways it would have been easier.
actively leased by a corporate think tank purported to have ties to the government. A spokesperson with the Monad Corporation tells us the facility has been used for psychological testing. Yes, we will testify. Whatever it takes. Got a guy in there. A guy named Benjamin.